I'm Kathy Weaver, and this is Chapter 8, Networking on Steroids, PQ, a guide to networking in a world post-quarantine. What does your reopen look like? The dates to reopen the country kept being pushed back and back and back until basically the 12-week mark had arrived. Some states adopted soft reopens, while others went to phases to allow the residents of their states to venture out again. The world was still technically in lockdown mode, but some of the rules were lightening up just a tiny bit. Slowly, a new store or two would open up with very specific guidelines to be followed. Hair and nail salon owners had lists of compliance issues that had to be followed, including scheduling clients several minutes apart so there would be no face-to-face -face contact with other patrons, cleaning the entire salon between clients, wearing face masks, taking clients' temperatures, signing people into the salon for future reference, and sometimes even the wearing of gloves while providing personal grooming services. Who remembers Memorial Day weekend 2020, where people flocked to parks and beaches in record numbers just to get back to the feeling of a normal holiday? The viewers of those social media posts made public requests that the people who chose to go to those largely attended locations not get near them for at least two weeks, just in case they had become infected with the virus. Regardless of which belief system you supported regarding the pandemic, the effects were real when it came to coping with the new normal that the world was facing. Did you or a family member or colleague have to self-quarantine? Did fear of meeting again in public grip you or any people that you know? There were some groups that attempted to meet as soon as some of the locations were allowed to open back up. A few group leaders prior to the soft opens and phases one, two, and three took the pulses of some of their regular attendees to see if they would support the group's reopen efforts. It was surprising to some that it was about 50-50 for those who wanted to stay virtual and those who wanted to get out there and see people again. Which choice did you make or are you making now? Fear is real for some people and whether you are a fan of face masks and plexiglass partitions and social distancing and getting your temperature taken and signing in to any establishment where you will be staying for longer than 10 minutes, or not, it's important to remember that each of us has a right to our opinions. It is a matter of identifying our differences and embracing our diversity and learning to enjoy each other's company as often as we can, whether in person or online. Stay tuned for chapter nine.